We have a young man that you've known and admired for many, many years. <coughs> I've known this lad and I, I've known him for many, many years, a really wonderful, wonderful person. When Neville Chamberlain came back from Germany with that piece of paper, <laughs> and he said, peace in our time, it was all on for peace. But this next act was working at a variety club in Berlin. Adolf Hitler heard him and declared war the next day. <laughs> A voice from the past, known as a stand-up comic, now known as a stand-around comic, George Roper. Listen. <laughs> you don't need that bloody bag now, I'll tell you. <laughs> Just found this in the dustbin at the back. It's your old gag. Never mind, Bernard. <laughs> we got a soft spot for you. Yeah, no, there's a, a swamp, swamp at the back of our garden. <laughs> you keep your hat on. There's a woodpecker in the club. He visited our house last week. He comes to our house regularly. Colin, you know, comes to our house. But we have to take the dog in. Because if... No, the last time we picked him up and buried him in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bernard Manning's a great mate, you know. He's, he doesn't wear elastic in his underwear. Swiss rail. <laughs> <laughs> and when they clean the Mersey tunnel out, they pull him through. <laughs> <laughs> He's just had a marvellous week in Belfast as a roadblock. I don't know. I went to his club last week and the bloke said to me, you're new here. I said, how do you know? He said, you just put your drink down. <laughs> <laughs> Two women talking together in Bernie's club once said, Mary wants to commit suicide, what's the best way? She said, shoot yourself two inches below the left bust. She shot her kneecap off. <laughs> She's a big girl, she was a big girl. <clears throat> You don't mind holding this because it's no bloody good now. <laughs> he wants it, you see, look, there's nothing in the bloody thing. <laughs> it's not very interesting anyway. <laughs> Fella thumb on the lift from Manchester to Liverpool in a thick with fog and he's walking along the East Lancashire Road in his welly. <laughs> and a car comes out the mist and there's nobody, there's nobody, nobody driving this car. And he opens the back door, sits in the back seat of this car, and it moves off towards Liverpool on its own. Can you imagine it? No driver. It stopped just outside Liverpool, and this little fella's getting out. And there's a great big fella getting in. He said, don't get in that car, that kid. There's something wrong with it. And the big fella said, no, I've just pushed the bloody thing from Manchester. <laughs> Give him a chance, please. He's doing his best. <laughs> Stop laughing at him. Thank you, Cat Weasel. <laughs> <laughs>